What's going on guys? It's Danny from Stove Restoration. We've been working away here, uh, chipping away at all the last little detail stuff. Like I said, we got it set back down. It's nice to let some weight on the shocks and everything settle out every once in a while. Um, we got the hood pretty well adjusted. We're not going to go crazy with the gaps. We're just going to get everything really close. And I'm actually going to set you here because as you can see, we have a grill in. Don't mind this uh, trim piece. We have to we have to get some speed nuts to attach that, but it it'll stay there. But I want you to check this out. So we got our RS headlight buckets, our tabs welded on, everything hooked up. So let's turn the headlights on and check it out. Nice. system works really good no more vacuum it's all electric uh, of course we don't have our headlight buckets and actual headlights yet so we can't put them in but uh, it doesn't matter when the doors are closed you can't even tell but yeah coming together really nice like i said we're not going crazy with all the gaps uh, we don't actually have these light fixtures either uh, chris can put them in later when he uh, takes delivery of the car very easy just two two bolts or two studs two nuts you line them up put the lens on and run the wire over and plug it up no big deal there and uh bumper brackets same thing we we actually don't have the grill stiffener i'm not sure why that was not included in this rs conversion kit we're gonna have to find out see if we just didn't get it or um, it's supposed to be in the kit i don't know uh, we need one so there, you can't run the screws up into this top grill and line everything up until you get the stiffener because the holes that are in this grill you can't see but they're just square holes the stiffener actually has the the spot where the screw attaches to so and until we get all that done uh, you have to pull the grill back out to do that we can't put the front bumper on yet because it covers the grill mounting We'll pop the hood open here, check and see what we did inside. Again, all the headlight bucket uh, assembly, the RS assemblies are in place there, as you can see. And loosely everything's lined up, the stops and stuff like that. All that seems to be working as it should be. Um, we're getting extremely close here. I'm trying to think of anything it needs done under the hood. Uh, we don't have our windshield wiper motor yet. So again, no big deal. It's something that uh, can be done very easily later. I think Chris is actually going to put the, the nice, probably De Detroit Speed makes one that's variable speed and it's low profile. So the stock one won't fit with these valve covers. So he'll get that low profile one and update that a little bit. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. We will have to neaten needing some wires up here and there a little more zip ties i just wanted to wait and make sure we had absolutely everything run before i put any kind of loom or anything like that on by the way this seems like an odd location for that windshield washer reservoir uh, normally it would actually go over here where that power steering reservoir is but because it's an rs car that is the stock location there's a bracket um, bracket bolts right to the inner fender and that's that's the, the correct stock location for an RS car. Uh, normally, all the vacuum stuff would be over here. We took advantage of that being there to mount our power steering reservoir right there. I kind of forget how how much we showed on the inside here. The dash pads completely bolted down now. All that looks good. That center vents all good. The the wheel is there. That looks really really good. Um, yeah. It's just some slight neatening up. Like I said, obviously the interior is not 100% done, but it's leaving here not being done. Chris would like to drive this and work the bugs out, have the car painted before he actually puts all the brand new interior in. So um, that's the reasoning for that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and fire this thing up again. We'll check for any more leaks. Like I said, we're getting extreme as you can tell by looking at this car it's very very close um 
you could drive this thing as is but let's go ahead and just fire it up we'll let it warm up a little bit and just check it out Definitely a little cold nature, definitely a little rich. You can see from the fuel smoke, but uh, it's running. Looking really good. Let's pop the hood and check it out. Mars pulley setup's looking good. Let's get a little gas here. For a while it heated up, the fan cycled on. The thermostat is opened up. Still idling down a little bit. up a little bit I think it sounds better there reach inside and hit those cutouts our vintage air on and it is working you see that line already cooling down that's cool Let's see if she's blowing cool air yet probably not but we just turned it on oh yeah it's already blowing cool air All right, we got back up on the lift and we're just kind of going over everything, make sure nothing's leaking, nothing's out of place, nothing moved. Um, we'll kind of go front to back and just go over this thing, uh, make sure nothing's loose, like I said, and um, just give it a quick once over. I know we have to adjust the front coilovers up because it, it won't even come off the lift now. Uh, especially after we we moved it back and forth the sus front suspension settled a little bit and um, definitely have to jack the front up a little bit so anyway every so far everything looks good it sounds good uh vintage air is working the dakota digital stuff's working so so far so good uh we got a couple more small things to finish up and uh We'll be ready to ship this thing out here. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.
Chris's very first drive in the car.